did you see the Vancouver riots last night after the Vancouver Canucks? <laughs> This is not funny, but it is funny. Lost to the Boston Bruins. Yay, Boston! Excuse me. Take out a moment, all hail the 2011 Stanley Cup champion, Boston Bruins. Ugh. The Vancouver Canucks fans could not stand they got their butts kicked by the Americans. So instead of kicking American butts on the ice, what did they do? They trashed their own city. I have to say this, okay? This puts to end every racial stereotype about who riots that ever existed. I don't want to hear it anymore. The bottom line is these fans, undoubtedly some of them drunk and toasted or perhaps high, decided to go out and do everything from burn cars to beat up each other to one guy getting his nuts almost blown off by some sort of firebomb or whatever it was. It was hilarious. And if it wasn't that, then it was a girl who Kind of looks like Amy Smart and Crank 2 a little bit on the ground with her skirt up, involved in a kiss with some guy who doesn't look as good as I do. Now, where do I get the Amy Smart analogy? Well, you've probably seen the pictures, but the person who discovered the photograph also agrees with me. And her name is Sarah Latch. You can say, who is she? She works for Comcast Sports in Chicago. Great job, Sarah, for finding that. She said she sp spent up until the wee hours of the morning, until I think 3 a.m. Central Standard Time, finding out whether or not that picture was authentic. It's authentic. It was not staged. It was real. But what does this say about society that people can't go out and simply lose with dignity? What does it say about Vancouver and the people there? It says a lot. None of it good. It also says that between the trashing and the violence and everything from cars being burned up to this rooter, looter, upset fan getting his nuts blown off by some sort of explosive device. It says that the city of Vancouver has a really, really big bill on its hands.